prepared for any emergency before it happens. To take advantage of this special, call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Okay, we are back live, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. Paul Watson uh, is here with us. When you hear me start hyperventilating and getting angry and calling the globalist scum, I'm just being real. I am here basically uh, attempting to get you to wake up and get out of your trance. I want to explain something. The eugenicist said in the 50s, Hitler embarrassed us. We're going to now say we're a green movement and we're going to cut off the resources to the third world. We do not want them to develop, so we're going to let them overpopulate, even from their perspective. You can debate whether it's overpopulated or not. It's a cold-blooded, militarized attack. And now all over the world, I've been there, Mexico, you name it. They come in and force the people off their ancestral land who are living sustainably, in nature, happily. They herd them into the cities. They give them the vaccines. Mexico City's got 35 million people. Something like 20% of the children are born with a syndrome where their brain is underdeveloped. And they don't, they, they don't ever even talk or move. They're just vegetables. And the parents just take care of these, of these coma creatures. I mean, you can look that up. That's even in PBS documentaries. Total toxic waste. It's the same thing all over the place. And then they build the cheap widgets that we buy that break before you even get out of the box. Most things, if I actually buy it on the road at Walmart, if I have to, breaks within five minutes. I mean, I'm shocked when I buy something at a Target or a Walmart that actually works more than once. I, I bought a bottle opener the other day when I was out of town, made in China. It's all they had at the gas station, and it didn't work. It wouldn't open bottles. It just it wasn't even the right size. It's just it's complete idiocy with suicide nets around the buildings where the iPads are made. Now, they're forcing them all off into the big cities where they then have to go on U.N. UNICEF assistance. Then you give money to oh help the starving black kids. And then that's vaccines and HIV. They've caught the U.N. adding to it and uh, sterilants and all this garbage. All this garbage while they block industrialization. It is an incredible death sentence. And this article needs to be gotten out to everyone, to everyone. I'm going to be reporting on it more tonight on InfoWars Nightly News at 7 o'clock. We're also going to get in tonight 
on the show to all these women shaving their heads for cancer awareness and men doing it and all the jogs and runs and events, but never talking about why is cancer tripled in most types? I keep saying doubled the last 10 years. I'm sorry. I went and looked at the numbers again. And on most types, it's tripled since 1980. Breast cancer, right at tripled. Other types, some have quadrupled. Some are up sevenfold, tenfold. Lung cancer in women, sevenfold, even though smoking's way down. By the way, I see disinformation campaigns. I was on Russia Today a few days ago, and I saw a commenter, and it's always the same dummy channel, saying, Alex Jones is a liar. I checked his facts. Switzerland is not the wealthiest country per capita. And then I saw the same dummy accounts responding, going, yes, I checked it. He's a liar. I was, I was debating you know, globalism and, 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 and neutrality and how neutrality is always a good policy, as George Washington said, with the host. And I thought, well, I've known that for years, but let me check and make sure I'm wrong. I thought Luxembourg isn't really technically a country. It's a parking spot for the elite. But per capita, it's not as wealthy as uh, Switzerland. And I said, I know Norway's close. Boom, pulled it up, World Factbook. Switzerland, for more than 20 years running, the wealthiest per capita country, over 217,000 adjusted dollars, even more in Swiss francs a year. So, so I see this continued disinfo campaign, not by people that don't like me, but it's a, it, they admit they have these programs through Cass Sunstein, the White House PR firms, but dummy accounts with no information, just saying everything I'm saying is a lie. And it's a hoax. It's a hoax. So just, just, just look for that and see that and know that web-wide, no one is attacked like yours truly. And I ought to be glad. At least they're just doing that and not killing me. Okay? They're trying to assassinate my character. Uh, and that's fine. Um, because I don't care about myself. There's no future if we don't beat these people. Okay? But when I tell you the UN's been caught worldwide hundreds of times adding sterilants to vaccines, I had Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. We're going to Aaron in a moment after Paul finishes. I had Dr. Sherry Tenpenny on yesterday. I'd interview her 10 years ago, and she wouldn't say it's on purpose. They're trying to kill us, world government. Now she's read all the documents, the Rockefeller documents. Now she sees 13 different manufacturers, Merck, making their uh, vaccine, 13 labs making it, all of them on purpose, clearly had the adjuvant bound to the full virus, not an attenuated, and it's really meant to implant the virus inside the DNA uh, of the body. And that's what all the medical scientists who've looked at it are saying. And I said to her, is this not staged? And she said, no, it's clearly staged. I mean, boom, right there. People are really facing the horror. Only facing it, only facing it is going to defeat these people. I mean, even two years ago, she wasn't going that far. Only facing it is going to defeat them, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I'm just so upset. Armed troops burn down homes, kill children to evict Ugandans in the name of global warming. And as Watson pointed out, this World Bank profit company that Al Gore and all of them are involved in, this company and other similar ones, and I literally see trendies all over Austin with my car is offset. Like, I'm trendy. I'm driving a car, but it's offset. I'm paying thousands to these companies. And I've tried to talk to them on the street, and I'll say, listen, do you understand this is about population reduction? And they'll just say, I don't want to talk to you. And I'll say, come on, just, just, just let me talk to you on my iPhone real quick. Let me just explain. Okay, j just look up the 1948-49 British Population uh, Commission. Please, pl please. And they're just like, no, no. Go listen to Rush Limbaugh. And I'm like, I'm not with Rush Limbaugh. They just will not listen. They do, And it's like, look, they're... Uh, uh, L.A. Times, 30,000 blacks fleeing one town, tens of thousands of dead blacks everywhere. They're, they're hacking up men, women, and children. It's genocide. It's wrong. And they just go, I don't care. I am liberal. I am trendy. Obama launched it. The U.N. wants it. Give it to me. You people are sick, disgusting filth. All right, I'm sorry. I've just, you're a bunch of scum. And the high up ones know what they're doing with the mid-level, low-level ones are like, modern 21st century neo-Nazis and are so brainwashed, they don't even know it with the hippie hair and the patchouli and the, and the sandals. And they're just a mechanized army that's almost unstoppable. And they will not listen. They do not care. And I don't care if you got tattoos, sandals, cowboy hats. I'm not into how you look. I'm just saying it, it, it's, Paul, I know I'm ranting here. Finish your points about this full spectrum analysis, how it's, it, it's a total shut off of world resources, which will make us all deathly poor, dependent on government, so they can force their way on us. 
But for the third world, it is a total death sentence. They're really moving. It's official U.S. and U.N. policy. And we've got to stop this mass murder. I know it's trendy and a sacrament for the left to kill brown people while you tell us to give up all of our rights and guns and have government health care to, to euthanize us or we don't like brown people. I understand your guilt trip garbage and I'm done with it. Go ahead, Paul. Well, I mean, you know, it was Obama's very first decision when he got into the White House to increase funding to provide abortions for black children in the third world. So, yeah, I mean, all of these liberals and trendies go about their business saying, oh, it's to protect the poor, to protect black people. And they're supporting the very people who are killing black people en masse, like the World Bank, you know, working with the Obama administration just last year to prevent developing countries from building coal-fired plants. They don't want them to lift themselves out of poverty. We're talking about 561 million acres of land, an area the size of northwest Europe since 2001, that have been swallowed up by these transnational corporations in the name of preventing global warming kicking people off their land, destroying farms, uh, burning down homes. Uh, and it's a eugenicist assault on the third world, and it's coming home. This is why they want us to live in a plannedopolis uh, with meat rations and the fact that we have to apply for permission to the government to drive a car once a week. So it's all coming home. This is the plan they've got for mankind. And now the geoengineering cloud is up there um, conducting experiments, throwing sulfur particles into the atmosphere again to stop global warming. These people in their own documents talk about how they want a global planetary regime to sterilize and kill everybody. And they're now in the White House. They've got the multi-million dollar scientific budgets and they're going to have their way. And that's the thing is that over the years going to college and then being at events with media and going to smart growth conferences, I'd be like, you know, this is a death sentence to the third world. And they'll just look at you with these crazed eyes and go, it doesn't matter. You can't stop us, Jones. And the thing is, mid-level and upper level, they know it's about a power grab and about killing people. And they're racist. And they committed. They said, how are we going to kill these black weeds, as Margaret Sanger said, and these brown weeds? And she said, we've got to pose as liberals to get their trust. These are quotes. So we can kill these subhumans. And, 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 and they are so vicious. They are so evil. I've even talked to black socialists and people, and they won't discuss the abortion issue. It's their sacrament. It's their weird, sickening, uh, disgusting, uh, out-of-control power trip. And, and th th they'll even say to you, well, there are too many people. And, and they get off on it. Meanwhile, they're having their food manipulated, their water manipulated as well. Well, I mean, it's... It, obviously, as you said, you get to a certain level and they know exactly what they're doing. It's like Bill Clinton at the Global Initiative earlier this week says that, you know, Calderon stepped up to the plate because he helped plant half of the one million trees that their biodiversity agenda called for. What they don't tell you is that he also kicked off all these people from their land. Now they're living in absolute squalor and poverty and dying as a result of this. But, I mean, this is the agenda. This is why they want and to And headed their way population. from Mexico. This has been going on since the 80s. And so, in a way, again, I don't blame the illegals. They're just trying to live a better life. They were driven off their land. The point is, then they're brought here, put on welfare, taught to be anti-Second Amendment. It, it, these globalists have got to be dealt with, and they've got to be called out. Paul Watson, good job. I want you to get your report out to everybody. Please, 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 listeners. Don't stand behind us, stand right beside us. When you become a PrisonPlanet.tv member, when you watch the newscast, when you download them and share them, when you share your passcode for PrisonPlanet.tv, when you spread the word about the show and alternative media, you fund our operation to continue researching and fighting and raising the alarm. We are the 21st century Paul Revere's. Paul Watson, Kurt Nemo, myself, my entire crew, you the listeners, you the activist. It is time to ring the alarm bells from every hill and mountain. It is time. We're sending our reporters to Bilderberg and to Denver for martial law takeover drills. I want to hire more reporters. I want to have reporters in different parts of the world every week. It's all possible when you fund us and support us by buying the T-shirts, the high-quality water filters, uh, the shortwave radios, all the great stuff at Infowars.com. That is how you support us. And when you become a PrisonPlanet.tv member. Paul Watson, thank you so much. Thanks, Alex. Coming up later, I'm going to get into this whole uh, Palestinian statehood deal. This is all planned to blow up the Middle East and get World War III going. Okay, everybody wants me to cover it. I've covered it at nauseum.
Israel's not going anywhere. It's meant to start a big war. But you'll see. We're, we're going to get to that uh, coming up. Uh, just, just absolutely amazing. Of course, nobody wants to talk about the 30,000 mostly black Libyans flee town. Tens of thousands of dead blacks stacked up everywhere all over the country. Nobody wants to talk about that because it's not the cause celeb. It's not the trendiness. Now, uh, going to Aaron Dykes. He's there with Darren McBreen. They filed incredible reports um, uh, that are up at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Video reports, text reports. They're working with Kurt Nemo. Those are going up right now. They've been to a bunch of drills so far. There's more.